What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. I'm your host, Remnant Prince. So in this episode, I got a video from Bell Knox. And she gets started in porn. And she's talking about her journey. Basically, she Googled how to become a corn star, right? Guys, please drop me a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Enough talking. Let's get to it. I mean, look, I'm 18 years old and I travel across the country having sex with people on camera and every dollar I make goes to tuition. I've built a name for myself, I'm building a brand and I love the porn industry. It makes me feel like a strong, independent woman. It's given me back my sense of self. I never really fit in, fit in in high school. I was, I was a nerd and I was a captain on my debate team. Even guys who I really liked wouldn't give me the time of day. I was not known for being promiscuous and I kept to myself and I was quiet. When you apply to college, they say, oh, you'll, you'll just take out $30,000 in loans and then you'll be fine and you can go to school and it's all great. But the reality was my entire life, I had, I had seen my parents struggle to pay student loans. It's like this treadmill that they have you on. I didn't want that. All of a sudden, I'm 18 years old, I'm an adult, and I have a bill of $4,300 to pay every single month. It was this slap in the face that told me, life is not sprinkles and cupcakes. Life is debt and life is bills and life is about making adult decisions. I don't have the savvy to be a drug dealer or the connections, <laughs> but I did love sex and I did have a nice body and I was young and I was cute. Um, I googled how to be a porn star. I'm like one of the top girls on Pornhub. It makes me feel great. <laughs> Why did I make that face? We have good chemistry. I like pretty in that. Oh my god, I'm moaning way too much. I'm like embarrassed. This is making me horny. <laughs> oh, that's so hot. He came all over me. <laughs> My first porn scene was um, something I found on an ad online. And the ad said, um, Satin Sheets Productions. I got a call back very soon. I said, okay, what's the website? And he said, facialabuse.com. And I laughed, and I said, no. He kind of like talked me into it. He, like, he was like, you know, it's not that bad. Like, they'll be really nice to you. And then you'll make $1,200. So I kind of, I mean, I said yes. They were willing to fly me out like the next day. So it was like fast, quick, easy money, and I could knock out my first scene, so I did it. It was like a really, really, really rough scene. Like I wasn't prepared for how rough it was. And it was weird, like, having some like random photographer watch me basically like get my ass kicked on camera. That night I was like just staring at my phone waiting for somebody to text me and tell me that they had found out I did facial abuse and that they were gonna tell everybody. Um, I was really, really worried and really like regretful and I felt really guilty and like I felt like, oh my God, what have I done? This is such a bad idea. Every two weeks you have to get tested for 
the full panel of STDs. I hate and you can't shoot unless you have a clean test. I'm just gonna read my testing results. Ready? Well, there you have it. You know, I think this has really become more and more apparent in today's society because a lot of these young ladies, they go through these situations where they don't really get much attention. They're not really born with, you know, certain type of bodies naturally or they just don't get that much attention, right? They're more reserved. They're more innocent, you know? And I think that growing up in a two-parent household where families are are doing, you know, decent, able to take care of their children at least, you know, provide food, shelter, and clothing, and all the necessary things. I mean, look at her. Does she look like somebody that struggled, really? So I think that what happens is they feel deprived of this type of energy or attention, you know, from the Chads and the Tyrones. And what happens is they go through life and they see how other women have it a bit easier, right? Like people, men are willing to throw themselves virtually at the feet of certain type of women. And I think other women get quite jealous or envious, you know? So they uh, may use like self-justified reasoning as far as like depths and, you know, having to pay off her way through life like this is normal right we all have to go through it man and some of us are not even lucky enough to go through it you know many people die you know before birth or after birth or spend a lifetime incarcerated never really had you know been provisioned for from a young age right so she's gone through life and she just wants the easy way out want the easy buck right And then she turns 18, and right there she starts to, you know, whore herself out. She shoots her first scene, right? And, I mean, to be honest, you got to have no standards to be able to pull something like that off. You know, I could could probably understand if she literally came from nothing, right? Her life being endangered, and she had to kind of find a way to pay for things from a very young age. Like, I know of females, or women, that have had to provide for themselves since they were, like, 13 years old. You know, 16 years old, even. You know, but they didn't, you know, resort to the same life choices that uh, Bell Knox has. You know, and I just think that it's really a letdown because society has let a lot of their own people down to be honest they've let us all down but you see someone that looks like this and it's just totally uncalled for it's unnecessary all right but um thanks for tuning in please stick around for next episode for part three or is it part two no part three (laughs) it's like it's part two please stick around for that and drop me a like let me know what you feel about this in the comments And if you enjoy this, please do subscribe. Thank you.